Hello everyone, it is Pip Install Python, a full stack developer. I specialize in Python development. Plotly and Dash are two of my favorite frameworks to work within. I do a lot of data science, a lot of backend development. I am overall a very rounded developer. I also have a lot of experience in Django, um, you know, Postgres SQL, um, a lot of different pipelines that are needed for a complete project. Um, right now I'm managing probably 12 different servers and I am working as a software engineer uh, for a large engineering firm and I have complete autonomy. I have the ability uh, to work remote. Um, I have a great salary and overall I am blessed and I want to give resources and tools to help other people innovate and create and to find success in their career. And one way I wanted to go about doing that is by creating a complete uh, list of packages and projects that are set up in a way uh, that other people can use within their own work. Um, this is specific to Plotly and Dash, but these are all of the components that I have built uh, in this past year. And I think you might find some interesting ones. So to start off, uh, you can find this page by going to pip-install-python.com. And um, this gives you a list of what the current count is on how many downloads I have with the different packages and kind of a little bit about me, where you can find my GitHub, my YouTube channel, and the link to what is my main application right now. So um, to start off, uh, we have Swiper. Uh, Swiper is a great tool uh, for transitioning images in a fancy way where it's almost like a carousel. Uh, you can also change the shaders from over here and I've created these test environments so that you can experiment and get a full understanding of what this offers. There are a few other different options like autoplay, speed, uh, what direction you want the effect to take place and you can configure those to get the specific one that would work best with your application. Um, I created a rich text editor. Uh, Summer Note is my favorite text editor and I found it with Django initially. Um, then I wanted to bring it into Plotly and Dash. So I took on the ambitious challenge of making that happen. And after around a week of development, I was able to break through and to build out uh, what is a working you know, version of this. Um, so you can pip install dash summer note into your terminal and it will get added into your environment. And uh, with that, you can import it and uh, it allows you to create you know, a lot of uh, different ways of you know telling your story or to give your text more um, you know tools to you know create and innovate off um, you can write you know in different uh, like styles uh, you can change the color of this you can change the font uh, you can underline uh, you can cross out um, you can you know do little dots uh, you can create tables a table you can do whatever grid you need um, and then you have a table um, you can add links uh, pictures videos and then you can kind of see the code that's being generated and this is the output of that uh, so I give you a full list of the different props that you have access to uh, within the toolbar and how to add or remove them is through this toolbar within the dash summer note um, so this is what I created Insta Stories is a useful tool uh, for mobile development. Uh, it has the same functionality as Snapchat or Insta Stories on Instagram, uh, but basically uh, it's a tool for you to uh, use your fingers and to swipe through different pictures really fast and to give the you know creator of it at the top and some context to it. Uh, it's a really simple component, but I want to um, expand uh, specifically mobile development with Plotly and Dash uh, because um, uh, most of the you know projects that are built with Plotly and Dash are data science focused on a web app, uh, but it works 
practically everywhere. Um, it works on your phone, it's worked on my watch. So you can put Plotly and Dash and you can use it as uh, your GUI, you know, for example, uh, for any project and it will just port into any system real easily, uh, which is an amazing factor of uh, Plotly and Dash. So um, one of my most popular uh, components that I've built out is the full calendar component. Uh, this is a event based one where basically you can click on any date that you want to add a event to uh, and then you can give a start and time and then create the event, add some context with it and you can show the HTML of the you know event and you can submit it and it will get added to the calendar. Uh, you can go in between weeks, you know, day or a list view. Uh, you can add business hours to this. Um, you can show, you know, the different uh, approaches to this uh, with a um, initial view. Uh, you just change that and you can add multi-month, you know, which is just a scroll of multiple months as you can see here. Uh, you can do a list week, which just shows like this week, what is the list of the events. Uh, and you can use callbacks to jump in between these as a, appropriate. Um, and then I also created another example here uh, where you can, you know, change the header toolbar. So you can just start removing stuff. You can add stuff if you want the title over there. You can put the title on the left side. Uh, but it's an extremely flexible uh, package, which uh, is very useful uh, for showing a full calendar and to create events and manage those events around that. Um, so uh, another one that I kind of just didn't click on, uh, but is pretty cool, is a, a dash image gallery, uh, which allows you to create an image gallery. Uh, you could put GIFs in there. I think video also works, uh, but these are some of the configurations with this. So if you wanted to, you could change like the thumbnail position to the top, uh, you could change it to the bottom, you could change it to the right or the left and it will all work. And these are all the different components and the understanding uh, from this. Um, so the next one that I would like to jump into is the Emoji Mart. Uh, this is very um, cool um, and it can be used in a bunch of different projects. But basically you can create your own emojis or you can use the default ones. Um, and it's real simple to get set up and you can use it in a bunch of different projects from having a button where this pops up on your phone and you could like maybe use it or to adding something onto a map. That's how I kind of used it. There's a lot of cool ways that you can kind of think outside the box and to use this component to build a full feature application. Um, so this uh, gives you another way to guess kind of limit, show what you want. You can change the you know size, uh, the button, you can you know get rid of stuff, exclude stuff. There's a bunch of different options. Um, you know, and if you want the color, you can change the color. But you can make this white theme or you can make this dark theme. And um, yeah, it's, it's really versatile and great to work with. So uh, another big one that I created was uh, Dash Discord, uh, which allows you to create a Discord component within your application. Uh, so people could directly connect to your Discord server and so that you can get engagement, so you can answer questions while people are, are on your application, which is pretty cool. Um, a, there's two approaches with this. Uh, you can create like a full page like this, uh, which has the Discord server, and you could talk within here and it will work. Uh, so just create a name and you can just start typing, or you can log in with your existing Discord account. Um, or there's a modal where it will pop up and you can change the style of the modal to be a Discord. You can like I did a world, as you can see there. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great, and then it also just sends messages outside of that little modal, and it tells you that like with a little alert. Um, so it's, it's a very elegant approach to having Discord on your Dash or Plotly application. Um, with all these great components, and hopefully you building an ambitious, uh, usable, um, you know, worthwhile application, uh, you're gonna wanna monetize it, you know, you, you want, uh, some reward for all the effort that you're putting into your innovation and into your work. Uh, one way of going about that is through uh, this credit card component that I created, where you can put in your name. Uh, so I could do like pip and install, and it will show up on the card as you can see there. Um, I could do Python, and it will be my last name. 
you can type in 2222 and it's going to be a MasterCard, 3333, American Express, 5555, MasterCard, but it changes the actual card to match the digits that are being provided. Uh, and then you give a month and a CSV. Uh, so for example, if I do CSV, 800 for example, it flips the card over and it adds it. So it's very elegant. And it shows like, hey, I'm not a rookie developer trying to take your card credentials. It's properly getting put you know, into a payment provider or somewhere safe um, so that we can um, you know, operate a professional business. So the last component I'd like to show you guys is Chartly. Uh, Chartly is a chart framework or I guess package uh, built on top of Plotly and Dash, which allows you to have time series uh, focused data, uh, where as you can see, it allows you a very elegant approach and it scales the uh, chart appropriately, you know, to fit as you add or remove. Um, and um, yeah, overall, I, I really like the styling of it. And I think it's a great addition for any project to help you stand out uh, from having the baseline you know, charts. This is a different chart that you know, could help make your application pop and you know, give it that style that it needs to you know, really stand apart. Um, so outside of this, uh, I also kind of created a list of learning resources. Uh, these are other great projects that you should check out or the book of Dash. And Marie, one of my favorite people in the Plotland Dash community because uh, she's so talented and she has so many different um, repositories that are worth uh, checking out if you are initially trying to learn or um, and, and she's just contributing a lot. So um, yeah, that's, that's a big thing. Uh, I also recently launched my own mobile application which is currently still in development but you can access it a uh, big thing that i'm trying to do is i'm trying to cover bird watching uh, a beautiful world map where you have all the different locations uh, that i you know kind of um, oversee or like that are in the territory that i'm trying to understand um, focused on the aransas uh, new oasis area uh, so I'm going to try to just focus on developing out the best software for this area and then hopefully scale it out. Uh, we have um, search functionality, so you can search and it will send you to wherever you want to go. If I want to go to Corpus, well, bam, sends us to Corpus. If I want to check out the Lexington, you get sent to the Lexington. And you can get an idea of, you know, what you're looking for, you know. So if I type in uh, Selena, for example, it's going to start narrowing everything down uh, very um, great project i like the way it's turning out so far uh, but the big thing isn't for its um, desktop it's mainly this thing is designed for mobile uh, right now the dimensions are for a watch <laughs> uh, sneak peek into what i'm about to cover uh, but this is a phone you know what i mean so ideally it's supposed to work with a phone look elegant and uh, be a, a functioning product um, so another big thing to kind of look at is I uh, recently created this Django application, which acts as um, my blog. Uh, it will also reference all my GitHub stuff. Um, I created a QR code maker where if you go to create QR codes, you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. Uh, but basically you provide a link that you want the QR code to send the user to whenever it is scanned. Um, and then you add the QR URL of um, what you would like uh, you know, the image to be or the GIF. So you just go on Google, you look for a specific GIF that you like, you copy that URL uh, image and then you put that GIF URL in there here and you create it and it will generate a GIF like this for you. So just to give you an idea, and then you can download it and it will get added to your downloads and you can use it within your forms or wherever else to stand apart. Um, so that's great. Uh, go into the blog, uh, check out some of the stuff. Like I said, this is Plotly and Dash running on my smartwatch, which I thought was pretty freaking cool. Um, but I'm also trying to provide, uh, you know, some useful tips and tricks um, and resources along the way. Um, very new at this blog thing, so uh, it's it's you know 
just getting started, but uh, something to keep your eye on. Uh, and uh, yeah, with that, uh, out of all of the different packages that I showed, I'm curious to see uh, what is your favorite? Uh, which one do you think would be best used in, in a project that you're working on right now or that you would like to you know play around with? Uh, which one just you know reached out to you the most? Uh, I'd like to hear some feedback. Um, and if you have any trouble, any questions, you know, feel free, feel free uh, to send a message in the comments down below and I will try to get back to you. Uh, but with that, I'm going to try to create videos where I can uh, and to give some great resources, tools, and tutorials uh, that I would find useful uh, if I was starting into this and hopefully um, give you guys some of the knowledge that I have learned along what has been an amazing journey. Uh, so stay motivated, uh, keep innovating, and with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.